Welcome back to my channel. If you remember, my last two episodes were all about the Monos carry-on that I reviewed and also packed for my two-week trips to Japan. Now that I'm back, I want to give you some update. <clears throat> the luggage was great. It's very, very stylish. Uh, plenty of room. It held up very, very well. I rode it everywhere with me and had no trouble. But at the end of the trip, I decided to return the monos. Um, the biggest reason is at the end, I decided between what's practical and what's stylish. And the fact that I don't have access, easy access to the luggage because it is a hard shell. Um, made me change my mind. Now, I could have gone and got monos that have the soft pocket outside, but I decided to take a step back and look at some other brands. Um, I wanted to go a little bit more high-end because I am traveling so much more. I wanted a luggage that is really gonna be one that I buy that's gonna last many, many years, um, that have a much better warranty so I looked around at Tumi, Grimoa, uh, Briggs and & Riley, and I did a lot of research. And in the end, I decided to go with what's, what will fit my style the best. It's not the most stylish, especially coming from the monos that I picked, so you'll be kind of surprised. Now I have it right here with me. I already unboxed it because I was pretty excited to, to, to uh, to look at the, the, the luggage when I got it. Now, this is not cheap. Briggs and Riley, this one is $629, I believe. So it is a lot more expensive, more than double what the monos cost. But compared to Tumi and Remoa, this is still a lot cheaper. And Briggs and Riley has the best uh, warranty in the industry. It's pretty much everything is guaranteed. They will fix everything for the lifetime of the luggage. Now, one of the big reasons I picked Briggs & Riley besides the warranty is that I wanted something a little bit smaller than the standard carry-on that I have with uh, Monos, which is standard for almost all luggage brands, 22 by 14 by 9. I wanted something a little bit smaller, and I was able to find the only brand I can find that had something in between my uh, undersea carry-on and the standard carry-on is the Briggs & Riley Compact Spinner Carry-on at 19 by 14 by 9. So, it's not the most stylish luggage. Definitely not gonna draw any attention. However, I, I do think it's very classy looking. Certainly not ugly. I guess you can say it's a little bit boring because you know, it's just black. And this is the only color it comes in. Um, it's soft shell. It's got a lot of pockets. Got a quick access pocket so you can put your passport, airline tickets in there, you know, maybe drop your phone in there if you need to. What I really like about Bricks and Riley design though is that the telescope handle is actually on the outside, so it's not taking up any room because most luggage is embedded in here, okay. So this is, this is a great idea because when you pack, everything is flat. And I really like this, this uh, I guess you can call it their, their proprietary feature that they have on all their luggage. It's this little pocket in the back that's nestled between the handle. And this is great because you can put your, you can put maybe like an umbrella in here if you need to. You could put a charger and put your phone in here. So everything is quick access. I really like this feature a lot. 
I think it would be very helpful with my type of travel. <clears throat> Everything feels very sturdy. It's not, it's a much heavier luggage than the monos. <clears throat> now let's take a look some of the cool features they have. I haven't seen many reviews on the Briggs & Riley 19 inch, that's why I wanted to make this video. This is called the base line. I think it's one of the, the most popular line. They have it, they, they have this base line coming every single size. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, and the coolest part is you can put your initial, that's free to do that. However, if you end up returning it, there's gonna be a restocking fee if you do the uh, initial. <clears throat> let's take a look. Okay, timeless classic styling, I agree with that. Superior material used, I can agree with that. Ballistic nylon fabric, yeah, definitely you can tell. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else they have. The patented outer handle, there you go. <clears throat> There's a There's a little hook here too. You can hook uh, extra bags on here to make it easy, so that's good. <clears throat> now the other cool part about this bag, oh, by the way, it comes with a separate TSA lock. Now it's not built in, but they do give it to you for free, it's included, so that's kind of nice. Now, another good thing about this bag is that it's got a very unique compression system that I have not seen in any other bag. Instead of it's the usual uh, extra fabric, extra zipper that you can extend, this has a, Briggs has come up with a different solution, a very unique and ingenious solution I don't know if you can see clearly, but there's two things on the side. It's called a CX compression system. So what you do is you just pack normally, but let's say you, you have more stuff to pack. You need more room. You simply take this and release, and you will, you will just give you extra space, you see that? I mean, I think it said 35% more space. So what you do is you pack all this in and then you, you would zip it up and you would just press it down like this. Let me do it. And basically you will compress your stuff in further without creating any more thickness of the luggage. I mean, this is the it's an amazing plan, you know, it's an amazing uh, design, you know. I I don't think I'll be using it, but it's good to know that I could, you know, that I have that option, you know. So that's why I really like this. I just think, I just think it's so well thought out. Even though it's not the most stylish looking bag, but I think in the end, you know, being practical is just a smarter idea. Another thing I like is, there is, there's a handle everywhere, you know, at the bottom, there's one on the side, so you can literally just carry, you always have a, have a place to put your hand. It makes things just so much easier. doesn't matter how you put a luggage in, you're always going to be able to grab a handle to hold on to. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this luggage I bought. I have not had a chance to use it. Um, I can't wait, I'm going to be going back to Colombia soon, and then after that, I'll be going to Europe. And I think this is gonna be great for Europe because, because it's it's smaller than the standard luggage, so that I'm never gonna be single out to uh, need to check in because my luggage is gonna look just a little bit smaller than everybody else's, okay? Now, just for size comparison, to show you guys. Uh, 
Here is my uh, tested Samsonite undersea carry-on. You know, it's not that much of a difference, but the compression system is going to help a lot, and the fact that the telescope handle is on the outside, I think this one just going to, it actually gives you a lot more space to pack. In fact, um, I think this one has, if not more, than the same room, than the uh, storage room as my Monos, 22 by 14 by 9. Okay? Especially with the compression system, I'm sure you can pack more than the Monos. Even though it's a little bit smaller. So yeah, and yeah, the, I also like the the clearance. Look at it. It's, I can put I can put my whole feet in there under that. My foot under it. So it's got a really good high clearance. It spins amazingly well. Very quiet, it just glides very easily, and the material is very, very well made. So yeah, so this is the baseline compact Briggs and Riley 19 by 14 by 9. I'm very happy with this purchase, um, and I can't wait to try it out. I'll go on my trips and I'll uh, give you my update once I return to see how this bag performs. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.